Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, some spreadsheet formatting. So we're going to go ahead and open our Word Excel document. Yours is going to be a bit different than mine. You're going to have to go through um, the Start menu, Student menu, um, I think maybe a CTE Student menu, and then you'll go to Microsoft, off Microsoft, and then you'll choose Microsoft Excel. Okay, so while this is loading, we're going to be doing formatting a header. So when it comes up, a couple of things you're going to do. Failed to unplug my projector, so give me one second. And of course, my screen goes blank. Okay, so you're going to choose the blank workbook. And there's some things we're going to be doing today. We're going to be formatting a header using a very simple formula. We're going to be copying data, classifying cell data, using fonts adjusting columns and rows, wrap text, indenting cell data, formatting values, and we're going to be adding a border today. So that's a lot of things we're going to be doing in one assignment. Okay, so we have our new spreadsheet here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the header. So you're going to go to View. Uh, I do it differently. So we'll go to Review, Picture Layout. So a couple of basics I hope you remember. This is These are the ribbons. This is the home ribbon right here. Home ribbon, insert ribbon, layout ribbon, formulas, data, review, view, and then add-ins. You will not be using add-ins in this class. Those are additional things that you'll use you know, once you're out in the business world. Okay, so we're going to go to page layout. Then we're going to choose margins. This is how we're going to get to the header. We're going to choose header footer. We're going to do a custom header. And we're going to do it on the right side. So you saw how I did that, I hope. We choose it automatically defaults to page setup on page. You're going to choose header footer. You choose custom header. And we're going to choose the right section. OK, so you're going to type in your name. Um, and then you're going to type in the class period. Okay, fifth period fall 2016. Going to click OK, and then you're going to click OK again. All right, so you will not see this here. I'll show you in a bit how you can actually see the header and what it's going to look like. Okay, so in cell A1, which it automatically is in A1, we're going to type in the word invoice. And it's supposed to be in all caps, I-N-V-O-I-C-E. So type it in all caps and bold. You have to go back to the home ribbon to access bold. Okay. And then invoice is a label. I hope you remember that because you're not going to be using the word invoice in any calculations. So invoice is a label. All right, so now we're going to enter some column headings in cell A3. So click right here. It was here. You press Enter. It goes to the next one. So there are several ways you can do it. You can press Enter again. It will take you to A3. Or you can take your little mousey, and you can just click in A3. All right, so we're going to type in item, I-T-E-M, and number sign. And then I arrow right. Um, and I go to cell B3, and I'm going to type in quantity, Q-U-A-N-T-I-T-Y. Arrow right again, and I'm going to type in unit, U-N-I-T. Arrow right again, and I'm going to type in description, D-E-S-C-R-I-P-T-I-O-N. Arrow right again, in cell E3, I'm going to put in unit price. All right, again, and I'm going to key in amount. Oh, my goodness. I messed up bad with that one. Okay, so we're going to do several things with this. We're going to make all of these bold. So the way you highlight them is you click, and you see my mouse is steady. I've held the left um, click. You know, in your mouse, you have two clicks. You have left click and right click. So you're going to click left and hold it, and you're going to drag it over to F3. You see that, right? So we've got A3 to F3 highlighted. I'm going to let go 
And then I'm going to go up here to the B for bold, and I'm going to click it. So now it's bold. Okay, so there's a couple of different thing ways you can adjust the column width. You can go right here. See where it says A and B and C? If you go very slowly right here where it's between A and B, you get the um, straight line with the arrows on each side. You can left click and move it right and it makes it bigger. Or And you've got to hold the click. If you just click and move, it's just, you can't, yeah. You have to hold the left click or you can shrink it down. Okay, that's one way. Or you can go right between A and B and double click. Click, click. And it automatically adjusts to the correct formula, correct um, column width. So it's pretty cool, right? It'll adjust for you. Okay, so we're going to begin in row four, column A, which is right here, A4. And we're going to key in some information. We're going to key in four, three, seven, six for the first item number. 8976 for the second one, 8632, 7793. Okay. Quantity is 11, 4, 4, and 8. Units are each, dozen, each, and package. Okay. So description is PDA, flash drive scanner and webcam all right unit price 129.99 25 99 99.99 99 and 35 dollars okay so we've got all this in here now we're going to do some stuff with it so we're going to center the data in the title cells, which is row three, we're going to center it. Okay, so we're going to select right here. And up here in the alignment little bar, we're going to click centering. See when you scroll over it, it pops up. Okay, now we're going to merge and center the title in row one right here. So I'm going to click, I'm going to click and hold it, and I want to center it with this whole amount of information. Okay. Now I'm going to click on Merge and Center, and it merged it and it centered it. Okay, so a cell range in this spreadsheet would be um, A4 to E4, or another cell range would be A4 to A7. So there are various cell ranges that you can choose from. All right, so in this spreadsheet, there's a couple of information. This, even though these are numbers, they're not, this, it's not numbers. It's actually a label. So we can go in and put an apostrophe in front of it and see how it changes it. And it gives you the little thing here. And it pops up and it tells you the number in this cell is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe. So it's telling you that this is text and it's not going to be used in any calculations. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it automatically formats to the left. So you notice here in the quantity column, it's formatted to the right. In these two columns, these are labels as well. These are formatted to the left. So those are labels as well. Anything formatted on the right is a value. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're going to readjust the column widths. Let's make them all the same. And I did this by clicking on A where it has the when it has the drop down arrow, I'm going to click. When I click it and I hold it, then it turns into a um, large plus sign. I'm going to drag it over to F. And then I'm going to right click when I'm up in the column. I'm going to go to column width. And I'm going to change the column width to let's just say 15. Is that big enough? That's too big. So let's go down one. Column width, let's go 10. Perfect. Okay, so there are many different ways you can change the column width. All right, so now we're going to edit the text. We're going to change the, um, in A3, we're going to change the number symbol to the word number. 
You saw how I did that, correct? Okay, so I just click up here. There's several ways you can do it. You can double click and you can do it in the cell here. Or you can click here and use the formula bar. I just prefer the formula bar. That's just my preference. Okay, now we have to fix this because if you notice, this is not now um, set up correctly. So we are going to wrap it. I don't want to make this giant because then it will push off the page. So we're going to just click wrap text and you see it automatically wraps it from one line to the next, which is pretty cool. Okay, so when you use wrap text, you see it's going to automatically do it if I turn it off. It's right there. It just cuts it off. You can't see your entire text. But wrap text means it does line over line, top to bottom. All right, so we're going to format the data in the unit price to currency. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Two ways you can do this. You can choose here. Uh, let's go back to general. So that's one way you can do it. You can do it by clicking here or you can come up here and click currency. Your choice. Okay. All right. So over here in cell F4, we are going to enter a formula to calculate the amount. So let's think about it. If I have 11 PDAs and they cost 129 each, what is the value that I have that I'm selling? Obviously, I'm hoping you're going to go with me. And remember, it's 11 times 129, and that's the total value that this customer is going to be purchasing. So it's going to be equals. And I'm going to show you how to do this just by clicking the mouse. Well, and a key. Okay, so I'm going to click on E4. The asterisk, which is over on the number pad, and I'm going to click on B4. Okay, so you see the cells are also highlighted E4 times B4, and I'm going to press enter. That tells me, and I didn't do the math, that tells me that um, the value is $1,429.89. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to copy that formula. So you're going to click back up here on F4. You're going to go to the bottom right to this fill handle. See where it turns into a small plus sign? You're going to left click and hold it and drag it down. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so now we're going to type in the word total. So we're going to go to right here in A8. I'm going to type in the word total. T-O-T-A-L. Okay. So we're going to indent it. Indenting is a little bit different. Okay. So up here in the alignment little box, see how it's got this? This isn't going to increase an indent. So I'm just going to increase it. All I did, if you notice, I just clicked it. So it's indented. It's kind of like pressing the tab button. But you can't press tab in um, Excel because if you do, it takes you to another cell. Okay, so I indented it. Now I'm going to make it bold. And it is already initial caps because the T is capitalized. Okay, so now we're going to add the amounts in, the, in this column over here. In column F. And we're going to do this by using the sum function. Remember, auto sum. Okay, so over here in F, remember you got to have your cursor in F8. All you have to do is click auto sum. Now you see it's got the dashed little, has these dashed little lines going around about it. So it's telling you that this is the range it's selecting. It's asking you, is this what you want to add? That is exactly what I want to add, and I want it to put it right here. So that's correct. I'm going to press enter. And it's already got my answer. And if you notice, it's already formatted in currency. That's because it added currency, so it will automatically default and add currency as the format. Okay, so we're going to add an accounting border to cell F8. An accounting border is simply um, a single line above and a double line below. So what we're going to do, it's a little unique. We're going to right click in the mouse and we're going to click on format cells. 
then we're gonna click on border okay so this is where we can do our fun things so here a single line above so make sure you have this one selected and click above and a double line which is right here beside that one and we're gonna put a double line here on the bottom I hope you saw that let's go back and do it again okay so I'm gonna click right here the single line and it's gonna go wherever I click so if I click over here it's there but I want it on the top and I want a double line on the bottom so I click double and I'm gonna click on the bottom and I click OK okay so everyone sees how to do this we're gonna do two more things I'm gonna make it super marvelous and I think we've covered everything so we're gonna add some borders and we're gonna change some font styles okay so let's add a border so I'm gonna select all this text in here and then I'm going to do all borders okay now I'm going to show you how to do something really cool so we're going to select here and we're going to do all borders but we're also going to color it so we want it to be yellow so that kind of stands out now the word invoice here we're going to make it bigger we're going to make it 18 point font and we're going to change the font size the font itself we're going to make it Arial Black so it stands out this is clearly an invoice okay so this is a fairly easy assignment if you have any questions this is just introducing you to some basic formatting and of course um, this will change the rotation of your stuff we don't want it to go any other way we would want it to go the way that it is left to right but you can change it and alter it and make it do funky things okay so what you're going to do is file save as you're going to save it as a I'll just save mine to my desktop you're going to save it to your Google Drive and you'll save it as spreadsheet formatting you can choose your name that's just what I'm choosing so I remember what it is and you're going to leave it as an Excel workbook and you're going to click Save. Okay, then you're going to upload it to Course Sites for grading as the Excel workbook because I will be able to see the workbook that you submit. So remember, yours should look exactly like this. So let me show you the header real quick before I go. So down here on the bottom right corner, you see, sorry, I was over here. And let me take you over here. I'm going to show you this right here. Here, I think it's this one. Nope, we're in that one. So this, when you click on the page layout, this shows you what it's going to look like. Okay, so you'll be able to see your header here. Okay, and then your header is going to be in the top right corner. So I'm just going to save it again, and then just submit it for grading. If you have any questions, raise your hand. I'm here to help you. I hope this gives you a super easy like stepping into Microsoft Excel and you have a great day.